Okay, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to tackle this great rock tune from the Guess Who Canadian band and the guitar player Randy Bachman highlighted here and um, it's called American Woman by the Guess Who and uh, lots of great guitar. We've got um, an interesting acoustic intro which has an alternate tuning and then we've got all the great electric stuff that comes in after the one minute 14 or so mark um, that carries you through. So I'm going to talk you through all of these parts um, and uh, get you set up to be able to jam on this one just like you hear it on the record. Okay, so if this is the kind of thing that you like and you haven't done so yet, I invite you to jump down right now and click subscribe and ring the bell. The bell will let you know when I drop new content, which I do every single week. All of my lessons have chapters in them, so you can jump right to the part of the lesson that you want to see and bypass whatever you don't. And if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, I appreciate that. There's thanks, which is like throwing a tip in the tip jar button right below. Or you can join my Patreon page where I've got chord charts and tabs for all the lessons I do on YouTube, just like this one. All the links are in the description below. Check it out. All right, so American Woman, this uh, features a lot of great uh, guitar. And um, the introduction is played on a six string acoustic and it's done on an open G tuning. What's an open G tuning? It just means you take three of your strings and you're going to tune it down um, a whole step. So uh, your E string, your sixth string, you're going to tune it down to a D. Your uh, A string, you're going to tune it down to a G. And your high E string, string number one, you're going to tune that down to a D as well. So your notes all the way through on your guitar now are D, G, D, G, B and D. And that gives you a G chord. Okay, so if you haven't taken some time and you want to follow along, tune your guitar and come right back. Press pause and come right back. Okay, um, great. So there's basically three different variations um, of parts that he's playing on this, uh, on this intro, okay? Uh, I'll say four, because the first part is actually a harmonic. So the very first part, how he gets you into the, so into the song, is he'll just do a 12th fret harmonic, and I'm playing with fingers, um, as he is, and you're just going to lay your finger across 12, and it really only matters that you get strings f 5 through 2, or maybe 5 through 1, and you just, I hit it with my, uh, the back of my fingernail, like that. Right? So that gets you into the song. All right. Now the second part, um, or formation, however we want to call this, is uh, this little descending phrase, um, which is immensely easier <laughs> after you've slaved and slaved and slaved how to play this song on standard tuning acoustic guitar. Um, all these parts are going to fall super nicely into place when you're playing it with this open G tuning, if you haven't figured that out already. Um, but you're just going to make this normal what is a you know the top part of your a G triad a, a, a G chord bar chord shape you know um, but now remember you tune that one string down so that's actually a G7 or G dominant 7 so when you pluck these three strings it gives you that seventh right and we're just going to take that same formation and slide it all the way down the neck I'm picking th strings three, two, and one. How I'm picking them is one string per finger. I'm doing my thumb on my third string, index finger on the second string, and middle finger on the first. You can do it however you like, but that's how I'm doing it. Okay, so this part is going to alternate between that and your low string, your, your uh, sort of rhythm, which is going to happen over here on your fifth and your fourth string. If you pluck that fifth and fourth string open, that's a root and a fifth um, and of your of a G. And you're just gonna little do a little hammer on on the second fret on your fourth string. Right? So that's the sort of rhythm. Just get used to doing that all day long with your thumb. So the, it's sort of a point-counterpoint. Um, that's on, on this particular phrase, 
he's not doing the thumb picking at the same time that he's doing the high string picking. So it sounds like this. See how it bounces between the two, and I let, and I let that those strings ring open, right? Isn't that cool? So uh, yeah, so that's that's the I guess that's part two technically. So I think it goes around that four times or so as as the vocal is vamping in, and then when he starts actually singing a verse, an American woman gonna mess your mind. Um, he changes up what he does, and he's actually going to keep his thumb going during this part. And all it's going to, again, this is one of those magic things that falls into place when you have this open G tuning. You're just going to bar straight across on your fifth fret, on the third through fourth string, and the third fret, right? And you're going to play it open. So it's going to be like... Right? But you're going to play that in conjunction with your thumb. I think on this part he may not do the... I think he may not be doing that, he's just doing the thumb. So slowly... Add that little chug in. I can't remember if he does that on the record or not. I should know that because I'm doing a video on this song right now. But I'll, my tabs will have it so my Patreon members will know. All right. So that's the third formation um, that he's doing. And the next one is... Uh, loosely built off of that, but we're going to come up here uh, to uh, the uh, 10th and the 12th fret. And this time we're going to bar just the second and first string. Okay? We're, we're going to leave the third string alone on this one. So we're going to alternate between... Right? Get your thumb going. So you're going to bounce back and forth between 3rd and 5th fret and 10th and 12th fret up here, right? And then he comes back one more time down to our sort of 2nd uh, formation. And that's it. So that's all the parts of the acoustic intro. All right, remember, open G tuning, and you've got those formations to work with. Okay, so let's take this to the electric parts, and let's jam on that. Okay, so on the electric, when you really get down to it and listen to this, at least on the record, um, there's a lot of things that I think are uh, interesting about this. So, um, number one, it sounds very single coil to me. Um, and uh, very much of a bridge pickup situation. So I'm going to go with my Strat. I have no idea that's what he played. Okay. Um, and there's really two guitars that are going on uh, at the same time. And um, things that were just very interesting to me. So when you listen to it, it's not really, it sounds like it's a, you would think in your head it's just a lot of distortion and all that. It's not. Not at all. Super clean. And... Um, there's one guitar that's playing kind of power chords, which you normally associate with this song. 
And then there's another guitar that's supporting it with some sort of single note on top of it. And uh, when you really sit down and listen to it in the headphones, you're like, wow, that's really different. Like when, I, when, when you would sit down and play it live, for example, you just let it go, right? You turn the distortion up and you're... Rah, 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 right? But when you listen to the record, it's, it's a lot more tame and interesting. Um, so one effect that he's using is a tremolo. Um, I have no idea what uh, speed. I'm just going to approximate. Um, something to that effect. I'll put the I'll put the details below of how I've got it set up. Um, so, like I said, there's two guitars, right? I'm going to start with the I'll call it the chord the chord guitar, um, and what I what I believe he's doing on that, right? So. Um, like I said, this is mostly a power chord-y um, kind of thing. And this is now in the key of E. In the, in the intro, we were in G. Um, but this is now in, in E. It's a riff off of E. And uh, you're basically going to bounce between B, your B position here at the 7th fret, um, your D mini bar chord here at 5, and your E on 7. So that's the sort of the positions what we're going to go for. Um, but I think it's interesting the attitude that he plays with and where I think there might be a slide up going on. Um, and it makes all the difference in the world if you actually hit those um, in that way, if you want to hear it like the record, right? All right, so let's talk about the, the chord guitar. It goes like this. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to call out. Um, not rocket science in terms of chords, right? But hear that open E string ringing out. Somewhere, I think it's this guitar part that's doing that. Because you hear that low E going on with the tremolo, um, and I think it's this one. And notice there's sort of a slide. And the picking is very aggressive when you listen to it. I, it all sounds like downstrokes to me. I tend to mix it just out of habit, but the record really sounds like downstrokes. Okay. And a little nuance there when you bounce back between the D and the E on the end. You just pick that up. pull off once the verses get going that just keeps on going but he doesn't do that pull off it's very repetitive from that point on it's it's just dun -dun 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 every single time That, that's what that one's doing. So that's sort of the main guitar that you're hearing during the during the whole record, right? That's really it for, for the whole part. There's no sort of change. Everything is riffing on E. The only other part that's different is that one part, uh, I think at the end of the guitar solo. back into it so but that's all the parts for that that guitar complementing that now is this single note stuff that's going on with this other guitar it sounds pretty much like the same tone setting similar um, so it's probably an overdub I would think um, and all he's doing here is <laughs> Sort of faint, um, but it's in there. You hear this little, that little pull up. And I can't tell if he's hitting the open string or not. Right? 
right? So the first one is with the G, and the rest of them isn't, aren't. I mean, it alternates between the two, right? So. That's super faint, but it's in there. And so here's what it sounds like together. All right, which brings us to the fuzz parts, right? This is so great. So countering all of that sort of clean um, tremoloed out guitar is uh, is this great fuzz guitar that plays uh, that, that that plays over it, and um, it's everything that those parts aren't <laughs> sonically, right? Um, but this is a perfect outline um, of basically an E major scale, I want to say. Um, you're basically playing around an E dominant seven chord. Um, let me turn this off for a second. So really what you're doing is you're, he's building everything off of an E dominant seven like this up here. And there's different places that he's playing these notes other than just right here in this box. But that's theory wise what's happening. Again, it's all, all in E. Um, I'm playing this guitar for no reason other than it's new and I'm to me and I'm loving it. Um, I have no idea what he used on this guitar on the re recording. So to get the tone that I'm going to be using here, I'm using my uh, Boss Fuzz uh, Wazacraft pedal. Um, and I'll put the settings um, in the description below. And on my pickups, I'm going to stick with my br bridge pickup, but I'm going to roll my tone off. Okay. All right. To give me that, uh, give me the sound that's, I think, pretty damn close, right? Um, so, okay. So let's talk about the first first one, the first solo that comes in during the intro, right? I think he starts it down here off of your sort of seventh fret E chord, major chord like this, and he's just playing it. He's starting it there and he's coming up to our E dominant seven position up here, right? Um, so let me just play through once. All right, so, uh, yeah, so just taking you through slowly, you're starting on this ninth fret on the third string. And now you're up to your major third of your E chord here. You can slide it up all on that string, or you can... Actually, that's probably the better way to do it. Let's go with that. Now we're going to just clip this little 15th fret on the second string. And then shift everything over a string. I love that. That's so sweet, man. Just greatness outlining again that E dominant seven chord, right? One more time through. All right, ending on that 15th on the second string. Awesome. <laughs> so then it goes around with our, our other guitar parts. And then uh, the next lead, um, he's going to approach it similarly. Uh, the next time around you hear it, it's basically the same thing. He does that again. So the next solo part, um, it's a similar approach. He just, uh, it's a similar approach where he's going to start it. And again, he's moving around in E, um, but he takes off in a little bit different direction. So here's the, here's the part that he does next.
I had a I had a flub in there, but uh, but the approach. Let me just talk about where he's where he's going in that. He's starting in major again. Whoops. So that's a major bend. Then he just comes up to your minor pentatonic box and does the same thing. And he catches that little quarter bend to make it major, almost. And then he comes up to your, and he's gonna play around with that seventh note. That familiar phrase he's already introduced. Hammering on up to this box now. Love that little ending there. But yeah, starting major. The whole rest is pretty much minor. A little bit of major thrown in there um, for effect, but beautiful. But the whole thing is just built around that that sort of fuzz tone, which is just awesome. It makes the sound. It makes this song right. All right, now the outro is the is the next place where the solo guitar comes in. I won't do everything note for note here. It's all in my tabs for my Patreon members. Um, but uh, it's all the same sort of idea. You're playing around that E7, and he sort of sneaks in here. It's uh, right, that whole stuff. Bye bye. He's mimicking the vocal. <laughs> That whole, that whole stuff, it's just brilliant. So again, that's all E, uh, minor, pentatonic, basically, with a little bit of major in there too. Um, but like I said, all the parts are tabbed out for you for my Patreon folks, go check those out. Um, and yeah, so that is the great masterful guitar work of Randy Bachman and the Guess Who for American Woman. And I hope you learned something new today. Um, if you haven't done so yet and you like what you saw, click subscribe. Um, ring the bell. The bell will let you know when I'm dropping new content. I do that every week. And uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about this. And if there's another lesson you want me to take on something similar, um, let me know that too. All right. But until next week, take care, everybody.